We're prepping this piece of plywood to become my wife's sewing table slash cutting table. We're going to be covering it with self-heating cutting mats. First, before we do that, we need to fix the fact that it's got a chip in it. A bunch of these potholes, or knot holes rather, much like a pothole, need to be filled. I don't have any putty. What I do have is wood glue and sawdust. And frankly, that's a little bit better. just using carpet tape to hold down the soft healing mats so it doesn't have to be great this has to be good enough all right easy and cheap and done less than five minutes and this table is one step closer to being ready to be the best cutting table it can be. And it's a day later. Let's see how the clamps work. Well, I'll say that piece is in there nicely. A little bit of sanding. I don't have to worry about that popping back up. Notice how the corners here are curved, the corners there aren't. So I'm going to make them so they're all curved. I believe we used a bowl last time when I first made this thing. Got one of those ping or copiers. Time to round off the corners and to start. I'm gonna cover the fabric underneath so it doesn't get too dusty. I'm just going to come by and finish it off with the belt sander. Smooth it out nice and nice smooth curve on it. And we're going to mute the mic so you don't have to do that. Back here working on the cart. Got the top as centered as it's ever going to get. It's built with scrap wood that may or may not be warped. May not, may not be uh, square, the car itself. It was never designed to be a fancy table, but a fancy table it's gonna be. I happen to have a old, an old piano hinge lying around my bits of stuff I acquired over the years. I think it literally came with the last house we bought. Brought it with, because you leave nothing behind like a giant version of the screw jar. I'm just going to attach the hinge using screws that are slightly shorter than the thickness of the tabletop. Make sure they don't actually go through. That one's up there to hold it. Speed this along. Well, I'd love to hear what the craziest thing you guys found in your place when you moved in or what like fun things you've been holding on to for like a decade plus in the off chance they'll be useful. I mean, I feel like a four foot hinge seems like the kind of thing you hang on to. Uh. Beautiful. That actually works so much better than I was expecting. Love it to pieces. So this is as tight as the mats get from the factory. You can see there's a bit of a wiggle. But like, what kind of crazy person would spend time on a Saturday morning with a file, making it so they join together a little tighter? That's just, be such a waste of time, wouldn't it? Really simple. Double-sided carpet tape to adhere 
here to the tabletop. And that is that, the carpet tape. I am going to have to require some more. But I got this guy down, which means I can adjust this guy and trim its edges to match the table. Gorgeous. This table's gonna look amazing when I get enough tape to finish it. Top done. It's time to take care of the bottom. Currently, it's got some really cheap casters down there that probably won't function for much longer on this floor. They've already broken once. This thing weighs actually quite a lot. So we're gonna replace some heavier duty casters, and I'll probably go with eight of these because I had to buy two boxes of four anyways. print some holders for scissors, markers, tea mugs, what have you, and attach those to the plate. We've got so much self-healing mat workspace that you can cut out an entire piece of a garment for me. So yeah, one built out of scraps for the most part, cutting table slash uh, storage cart. <laughs> 